Hello, my name is Pam, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another video. I am so excited for many movies this year, but one movie in particular I'm just extremely excited for is Terrifier 3. If you do not know what Terrifier is, it is a slasher clown type of movie where a clown called Art the Clown goes around killing people in a very gruesome way and it's just incredible. I've made videos about the first movie, about the second movie, I've talked about the trailer of the third movie that's coming out later on this year and I'm just so excited for this movie. But whilst we wait for Terrifier 3, we need something to hold us over. We need something to just kind of like pass the time and I feel like I found that movie and that movie is The Jester from 2023. And today we're going to be talking about the movie, we're going to see does it hold up to the level of Terrifier. I have no idea how I found this movie, it just ended up on my watch list I feel like because nobody I know has watched this movie. Nobody I know has spoken about this movie. I've never heard of this movie in my life, but I just saw it in my watch list. I watched the trailer and I was like, damn, this looks like Terrifier and I want to watch this. It follows a character of the Jester. The Jester used to be like a character that used to entertain rich people. You know, he dressed like a, a, a clown, almost like a comic, and he just entertained rich folk and he was like the fool character, I guess. And the Jester started off very similar to Terrifier, a short movie. Movies. This jester was dressed in an orange suit, black top hat, black shirt, orange tie, and wore this like creepy ass mask. And it started off, as I said, as a short movie, then it eventually grew a big fan base, and then eventually became a full feature length movie, very similar to Terrifier, because that started off with shorts, then became All Hollows Eve, and then became Terrifier 1 and 2, which I absolutely loved. And I remember watching Terrifier for the first time when I saw the ratings, and I was like, ooh, this is gonna be really shit. But I guess it's fine, we're just gonna watch it shitty horror movie that, that's fine I love doing that but it absolutely surprised me the ratings did not just did not correlate with my opinion of Terrifier because I absolutely loved Terrifier I thought it was terrifying <laughs> no pun I was absolutely terrifying and I just absolutely loved it and I really wanted something similar from the jester and I watched it and well let's let's talk about the jester from 2023 so what is the jester about well I'm gonna read you the synopsis and then we're gonna talk about the movie and we're gonna see if it holds up to terrifier is it a scary or maybe maybe it's even scarier who knows? Well, I do, but I'll tell you in a few minutes. A malevolent being known as the Jester terrorizes the inhabitants of a small town on Halloween night, including two estranged sisters who must come together to find a way to defeat this evil entity. Ooh, sounds creepy. Sounds right up my street. Sounds kind of fun. So what is this movie about? Well, it starts off, we see this man called John because he's wearing a uniform and it just says John. Love the extremely generic name there. And he's just walking on the bridge and he keeps seeing like this little girl everywhere. And you're like, hmm, why is this gonna be like a weird, like uh, supernatural type of movie? And he sees this girl. Then he goes on the phone and he rings somebody and he's like crying. And from that moment on, I was like, oh, okay. We have like this very amateur actor and he's crying and it does not feel believable at all. And as he's crying on the phone, he's like, oh, I miss blah, 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 blah right behind him we see this dude with a quite a terrifying mask and he's standing there he puts his hand on John's shoulders and he somehow ties a noose around his neck and he's standing far back like this and he like imitates a noose being tied around his neck and this is happening to John so from that moment on I was like oh okay this is not gonna be it's gonna be like half supernatural like he exists but he has almost these like powers which I feel could be very interesting so he like ties a noose around his own neck the jester does and John dies and then we go forward like a, a little bit time and we see two women at a funeral at John's funeral and it turns out they are the estranged sisters and they don't really get along because it turns out one of the sisters was kind of like abandoned because John found a new wife blah 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 he abandoned her and then he had another kid and that kid is like the perfect kid who has like this life planned out for her and for the, the daughter that was abandoned, she's kind of like, you know, she, she's obviously just sad that her dad left. She has this like guilt within her because she feels really angry at her dad, but her dad is dead. And she also doesn't really want to befriend her sister. They are, they're, they're just not friends. They do not fuck with each other. And basically the movie follows these two sisters uh, li living two extremely different lives. And I guess kind of like thinking about each other, trying to rekindle their friendship. And basically, that's all you kind of need to know for the story and the context of this movie. And in the midst of this, we have the jester that's going around killing people. And he kills people in almost a comedic way. He kind of 
pops up and he has a little bit of fun. He snaps his finger and somebody dies. And in theory, right, when I'm describing that to you, that sounds quite interesting. That sounds right up my street. But whenever you actually watch this happen, um, it, it does not look really good. Like, for example, at the funeral, there are there are two guys that work at the, at the graveyard. They're like, you have to get out of here because the service is finished, which is weird. Like, it's a public place. You don't... Uh, anyway, whatever. You don't have to leave a graveyard because the service is finished. It doesn't really matter. And then the jester kind of like just stands there and he like ties their laces with his mind and then the dude falls and dies and then he makes somebody choke with his mind and in theory it's like okay that's a very entertaining idea I feel like you could have a lot of fun with it but my biggest problem with the character of the jester right okay with Art the Clown he's so expressive you can see him laughing his body is like always having fun he's almost like taking the piss out of the people that are dying right but here the problem is this character is not expressive at all because it is a mask, it's not face paint, and whenever he's like doing something and he's having fun, his face doesn't change, obviously, because it's just a mask. And I feel like that takes away from all the potential that this could have had with the character of the Jester, because if, if he's not expressing himself, if you can't see him having fun, and the only fun you can see him having is like jumping around and like moving his body, it looks so shit and whenever you combine that with really like awful amateur acting it literally looks like something that you would make as a college project in school and it's really annoying because i feel like this character of the jester has so much potential but whenever you just don't see any expression no like you, you just have to assume that he's having fun whenever he's killing these characters it's really annoying that was the first thing that i noticed from like the very first kill and i was like okay if this movie is going to continue like this it's going to become very 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 boring and so as the movie goes on you're like okay whatever we, maybe we can go past that maybe if the kills are going to be really fun i know the track record so far has not been fun with the kills and yeah, it does not get any better. It actually kind of develops more into like a psychological thriller rather than a horror. And it kind of focuses on these two sisters, as I said, trying to overcome the guilt and the sadness and understanding that their father has died, which in theory sounds quite interesting. But oh my gosh, their writing and the relationships between all the characters are so awkward. You do not care for these characters at all. Like the two sisters meet up at a bar and they're like, you know what, so do you want me to be your friend now? And she's like, no, I didn't expect that, but maybe we could be friends. And it's like this like really annoying dialogue that continues on for the entirety of the 90 minutes. And with a 90 minute movie, you think it's gonna like absolutely just sail past because 90 minutes, that's nothing for a movie. It's the perfect amount of time for a movie, but oh my gosh. I found myself looking at the time so much throughout this movie simply because of how boring the characters were, how awful their writing is, and sometimes their writing just doesn't go anywhere. Like, there's this example that this dude, one of the sister's friends, is like, oh, I remember chasing, like, the, these sounds within the movie theater, and, yeah, nothing happens, and he just sits there. And it's like, why do you even include that? There's so many times within this movie that there's just dialogue, and it feels so pointless that it's just not needed. And it really takes away from you having fun with the movie, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not really sure if the Jester has a lot of lore behind it, like from the short movies or just from j just maybe internet things. I don't know. I have not watched the short movies. Maybe I should have watched them before making this movie. I will watch them after this, but I don't really know if he's always been like this and if the dialogue has always been really annoying. But it feels like this movie should stay as a short and they should develop a coherent story before making it into a feature film. Because as I said, the character of the Jester feels very interesting. Having like this fool character ha going around killing people, having fun, it sounds very sadistic and it just sounds like it would work. But whenever you pair it with just really boring kills and very boring kind of like dialogue and there's no stakes and there's no climax, like sometimes the kills just happen so fast and there's no build up and it's like, what is the point of making a movie like that? But then one of the sisters is outside, you know, she's kind of like a contemplating life, you know, she's feeling very upset, guilty, whatever. And she goes into a liquor store and she buys um, some like whiskey or whatever. And she's walking in the street and she meets the jester. And they have this like awkward interaction where he like shows her a bunch of cards and like just like is having fun with her, but the camera barely moves and you're just watching them stand around. And um, eventually, like three minute, minutes into this interaction, she's like, wait, I feel like I saw you at the funeral and it's like yes how do you not know that you've seen this character dressed in an orange suit dancing at your father's fucking grave how can you be like I feel like I've seen you somewhere hmm. how many fucking people like that do you see 
how many? <laughs> and it's just things like that, that it's just so stupid. And also sometimes it feels like we have characters just talking about shit just to waste time. Why? Come on. I guess whenever I went into this, I expected something like terrifier levels of gore, but we get no gore at all. But there is one scene that I did actually really enjoy. They're at a Halloween fair and one of the sister's friends is sitting at a table and the jester comes up and he has like the cups and he's like mixing them around and he's like <laughs> doing shit like that because he uh, doesn't speak. I don't know if I mentioned that, but um, then he like lifts one of the cup and it's like a load of teeth. And um, it's quite funny because you see the guy going like, because he's missing his teeth and then the jester does like this with the cups again and his eyes are missing and it's like if that's the peak of the kills then i i feel like that explains the rest of the movie for you <laughs> another thing i found really irritating about this movie is like you know whenever you have like low budget movies your actors are obviously not going to be incredible you know you shouldn't expect that why the fuck would you write in your script so many scenes where characters are crying there, it's so awkward because there's so many times a character is upset in this movie and they put on the worst crying acting I have ever seen in my life. And you're watching this like, I don't know if I'm meant to laugh or take this seriously because I, I was watching this and I started laughing and then I reflected on the fact that I don't think I'm meant to be laughing at this. This is meant to be an upsetting scene because this sister is trying to comprehend the fact that her dad is gone forever and she keeps having these visions of her dad and um she starts to cry and it's also weird the way the characters act in this it's like you obviously have a character who's extremely upset she's just lost her father and the rest of her friends are kind of like yeah why are you stressing about why are you what, what's wrong let's just hang out in the fair let's scare you let's have fun and it's like these characters are so unrealistic i know the story isn't really realistic per se but it's like Everything just feels so messy. It just feels so, it, it just doesn't really make sense. It just doesn't add up. I know this is the first movie like out of the Jester franchise and I really like the character of the Jester. I feel like if you put the spotlight on Jester and you watch him kill people and you actually centered the movie around him, it would be so much better than having him just kind of almost as a side character in his own movie and then making the rest of the movie uh, just about grief but not really exploring grief. Like, it, it just doesn't make sense, but I feel like there is a good future for the character of the Jester because I feel like if you flesh it out, if you give him more of a persona and if you just expand him more, it would be really, really fun. But for now, I feel like it should stay as short. Putting this into a 90 minute movie is genuinely taking the piss. Like it actually angers me that you want somebody to sit through that shit and not even have that character that your movie centered around be in the movie at all. Why would you do that? That it just seems almost selfish. And there's actually a nod towards Art the Clown throughout this movie because we see a kid dressed as Art the Clown and it really hones in on it and it shows us that this movie is obviously taking inspiration from Terrifier, but it's, uh, uh, let's just be honest, it's not doing it as well. I feel like Terrifier just knows what it's doing. It's fun. I know it also has low ratings similar to The Jester, but goddamn, Terrifier has fun. The Jester is a load of shit. <laughs> but I feel like that's everything I I kind of have to say about the jester i feel like is it fun to watch with your friends definitely not i feel like if you're just going to watch something like this just watch terrifier terrifier works because it understands what it's trying to do this movie just kind of feels a little bit directionless it just has characters in it that you don't really care about it doesn't really show you the main character of the movie it doesn't really have fun with its kills where i feel like it should because the character of the jester is there to have fun and kill people and i feel like the fact that it's almost like a supernatural being that it can teleport around it can kill people without even physically touching them that's a concept that you could really explore and have fun with whereas this movie does not do this at all it just feels sloppy it feels messy it feels annoying that the director wants us to watch this and it's just shit i'm gonna watch the short movies after this and see if they hold up and but i really really hope they're a lot better than this full 90 minute movie because goddamn I do never, 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 I never want to watch that again. That was painful. And I think that's everything I have to say about The Jester. Have you watched this movie? What do you think about this movie? Have you watched Terrifier? What do you think about Terrifier? I'll leave it there. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.